What's up you guys? Carson here and today I'm back with another origami tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a really cool model that was designed by me and I call it the Octagon Star. It's um it's fairly simple. You shouldn't have any trouble making it. So let's go ahead and get started. Start with the white side up unless you want to make a color a star with a reversed color scheme. And then start by making a square base. Alright. A square base is a base that you use before you make the bird base. Alright, so just fold on the diagonals. Make sure you get nice and strong creases. Alright. Unfold. Fold over on this side. Alright. Uh, I like to kind of pinch the paper before I go in um, with the big creases so that I can make sure to get the, these as close to the diagonal as I can, like to the point. Alright, go to make sure that these are strong creases. And now, flip over. Go ahead and press the little center thingy down, and then fold in half this way. There we go. Repeat again, this time like this. Alright, and now from here we're going to fold the square base. So all you have to do is take this corner, fold it down to this crease, take this spot right here, fold it back over to there, then then just fold this side down. You've got a square base. And with a square base it comes with two little flaps here which are used in the uh, bird base, but I'm not going to get into that. So now we're just going to want to rotate it from this direction to this direction and then fold in half. And then just crease really sharply. Go ahead and fold in half the other way. To where you have this. Alright, now we're going to want to uh, take the model and grab one flap, okay? And now you're just going to want to fold along that crease that you just made to where you get this. You're just going to want to squash fold the middle down like that to where you get this right here alright now just go ahead and fold this flap back over and now we're going to want to do the same thing over here so just take your paper let's fold this flap over on that crease we made a few minutes ago squash fold here lining up this center crease with this crease right here and then folding back over so now 
your square base should look like this. Okay? You're just going to want to flip it over and do the same thing on this side. But this time, um, these creases are mountain folds, so that's going to be a little bit harder to do. Alright. It shouldn't affect much, though. Just line that up. Crease there. And flip over. Well, fold the flat back. That is what I mean by flip over. Now repeat. And now, just do this. And now, now you should have this. Go ahead and get to these creases a little bit stronger by just running your fingernail over them multiple times. There we go. Alright, now we're going to want to take um, this corner right here and fold it up to the top corner. Alright. And it should look like this. Repeat over on this side. Okay. Now you're just going to want to hold it like this. And then just open up the center spot here. Which will leave you with this. Alright, next off, what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to open up this side and then just fold this down. So fold it down along these creases right here. And then close the model while lining up the edges to get you a triangle right here which I think is a right angle alright you're going to want to repeat on the other side so take your model just fold along these two creases right here these two flaps then just close it up and it will now look like this. Now here's the hardest part. First, just to take this tip right here, fold it up to this intersection crease right here. So let's do that. Alrighty. And now, just uh, open up the model and pop it open and perform a sink fold. That is where you open up the model, push the tip in, and then convert all of these flaps. into mountain folds okay and now to close it again you just want to use your fingers as sort of a guideline to help it close All right that way it doesn't get a little kink at the bottom alright you just have a few more steps till you're done. Okay? Next, you're just going to want to take this edge right here and fold it down. And at the same time, open these flaps like this. And then just sink it, just um, flatten it. And now flip over the paper 
By the way, this is what it should look like when you're done. Flip over the paper. And, um, and then just fold this up to where this point right here over to this point lines up with this edge right here. Okay? Now, you have finished your base for it. Now, you're just going to have to do the finishing touches. Okay? So, have your paper like this. And now take, uh, um, take this uh, part right here and then just open it up and then fold your paper to, onto this to get a point right here. At the same time, um, squashing right here. I think that would be the fold that this would be qualified as in order to get this right here and then you just fold that down all right repeat over here so now it should look like this and now um now we're just going to want to do it to this side too so remember open up this flap right here Fold the um, fold this edge to where you get a tip up at the top, and then you just kind of squeeze here, fold that down, and you have it. All right. Repeat over here. where this is what you get. Now flip over the model to where you have these two flaps right here on on both of the sides. All right. You're just going to want to take this um this side and then just fold it to the middle crease right in there. and then flatten down this is what you should have after you've done that go ahead and repeat on all on both of the two corners okay so, just keep this up Hold here. Boom. All right. Now fold like this. And now you have all but the pentagon back. If you want, you can just keep it as a square. It's up to you whether you want it to have a square back or a pentagon back. But to make the pentagon back, you just take it and you fold it in half. You fold this corner upwards. And then you would open up this spot right here. And you just fold that up and then cover it. That will get you the edge. Then you just repeat that on all four sides. If you guys can figure out a way to hide where these flats go better than the way I have it, please tell me. Because, um, I really don't know. And one last thing before you leave, so do not leave yet. If you guys want to post a tutorial on this, uh, um, uh, model on your channel, then please, um, uh, please uh, put a link to my channel on uh, the description and or 
in the video. And the most optional one right here is subscribe for more awesome models. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed.